finally, a movie title that speaks to my sensibilities as a human being. The title for this movie is My Spirit Animal. I know what you guys are thinking. Hey, super fan, are you having some kind of psychotic break? Why is your hat not red and blue? Why is it black? Well, tis the season and it's a recent gift. I wanted to exit this year the same way that I came in. Black, stylish, with a little bit of gray. Okay, now that I look at it, it actually does look like it's a white instead of a gray. So forget that last statement. Besides, I was talking more about gray area of entertainment that I provide on this channel. I was not referring to any possible gray hairs that I may or may not have stumbled across in the bathroom this morning. Look, putting all of that aside, Freaky is directed by Christopher Landon, who is the same man who brought you Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day 2. Stars Vince Vaughn and Katherine Newton, and it's a story about a teenage girl who, after she gets stabbed by some weird voodoo magical dagger, she suddenly switches bodies with this 6'4 middle-aged serial killer, and she finds out she basically has 24 hours to try to reverse this change before it becomes permanent, and she is stuck in this serial killer's body forever, and the serial killer is stuck in her body. Obviously, the movie's called Freaky and it gets released on a Friday. That's pretty on the nose. You know exactly what the inspiration for a film like this is. I, of course, am referencing the two Freaky Friday movies that came out. One came out, I believe, in the 70s and one came out in the mid 2000s with Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan. These movies, of course, revolve around the concept of body switching, like what would happen if your body switched places with somebody else. It is beautifully tongue in cheek. This is a very self-aware movie that doesn't seem to take itself too seriously. It's a funny thing because it is Freaky Friday and instead of it being tongue in cheek I was thinking more tongue and throat like that should be the mood for everybody out there but no tongue in cheek that's that's how they roll here. Shout out to anybody out there that does have a tongue down their throat at the moment keep on uh Keep on living the dream. The concept like this, it would help if the movie is definitely trying to have fun with it and is not playing it completely serious because it is obviously a ludicrous and ridiculous concept. But I gotta say, out of all the things that you could like about this movie, you have to like Vince Vaughn. I've been a big fan of Vince Vaughn forever and he owns this movie. Like, essentially playing a teenage girl in this entire movie and he plays it convincingly enough with enough humor, enough of his trademark humor. The best parts of the movie are definitely Millie as this teenage girl who is Vince Vaughn, kind of figuring out that, you know, Vince Vaughn is 6'4 and big and strong and so kind of playing with that concept is kind of funny. The banter and the back and forth between her and her friends, I forget the actor and the actress who plays her best friends in this movie as they're trying to help her figure out a way out of this situation before she ends up stuck in this body forever. Those are definitely the most entertaining moments of the movie. Like whenever Vince Vaughn and her best friends are on the screen going back and forth about something, it's just, it's really fun. Beyond that, Catherine Newton is also pretty good in this movie. She plays uh, Millie or she plays the serial killer in Millie body. The movie is competently shot and directed visually. I think Christopher Landon populates his shots with enough action and enough motion, enough interesting things, enough interesting angles to keep things rolling. Overall, it's a fun, entertaining, breezy ride at the movies. Unfortunately, outside of Vince Vaughn being entertaining and outside of Vince Vaughn and Millie's friends being entertaining, there's really nothing from a writing perspective that this movie offers you. Like I said, it's a concept and a story that you've seen before executed in better movies. And so here definitely have a lot of those cliches and some of them do fall flat. Some of the humor is very hit or miss. There are some moments where this movie leans a little bit too far into the cheese to the point that it feels very awkward. A few corny lines, a few corny moments here or there. I like a good corn on the cob as much as anybody else. But then when you wade into a cornfield, that's when, I don't know, things get a little bit a little bit too much for me. A little bit disappointed in the whole serial killer character in Millie's body. It's kind of boring. Like basically the serial killer in Millie's body doesn't really do anything of interest other than just walk around and scowl and glare at people. Pretty much resting stank or resting bitch face for the entire movie. It's the Anakin creep face, the Kubrick stare. All of that, that's all she pretty much does for most of this movie. And it just gets very boring and very repetitive after a while. I also think that there are some things about the ending of this movie that felt very tacked on. Like the movie at a certain point felt like it was wrapping up. And then there's this extra thing that happens and some of it doesn't even really make sense. But it happens and then the movie abruptly ends and I'm just kind of like, really? Did, did we really need that final scene? Couldn't we have just let things go the way that... You know what, whatever, movie's over, I'm out of here. <laughs> Freaky was a fun, decent watch, nothing special. I'm gonna leave this one in the Daily Planet. Slightly above average movie that I think most people will be somewhat entertained with. So guys, tell me, have you seen Freaky? Give me what your favorite body switching movie of all time is. Put that in the comment section down below. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show. And as always, if you like what you see, tell me how you feel and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.